So to do this, we need to first download Heroic Launcher. In order to do that, we need to go into gaming mode. So on your Steam Deck, press the Steam key, go down to power, and then click on switch to desktop. Now that we're in desktop mode, we're going to click on the Discover app. Once in here, we're going to go into the search bar. We're going to open the keyboard on the Steam Deck using the Steam key and the X key at the same time. And then we're going to type in Heroic and press enter. Go ahead and tap on install and let it do its thing. Now that the download and the installation is finished, we need to add Heroic Games Launcher to Steam so that we can actually open it in gaming mode. So in order to do that, we're going to close the Discover app. We're going to click on Application Launcher, go into Games, and find Heroic Games Launcher, which is right here. And then we're going to right click on it and add to Steam. And once that's done, we just want to make sure it's been added to Steam. So what I like to do is to just click on the Steam icon in the bottom right corner of your screen and then going to library. And as you can see, Heroic Games Launcher is right here. Now that we know it's in our Steam library, we can actually go back to gaming mode. So close Steam and return to gaming mode. OK, we're back in gaming mode, which means now we can go and find Heroic Games Launcher and actually start looking into downloading the game. So tap the Steam button, go into your library, and under non-Steam tab, you need to go and find Heroic Games Launcher, which is right here for me. So I'm going to tap A to go into it. Okay, there's the launcher. Now your screen might look a little bit different to mine. If this is what you see, you just need to tap on the login and this is the screen we use to sign into our Epic Games account. So tap on Epic Games login, so this is where you need to sign in. I'm going to sign in with my credentials and I'll come back when I'm signed in. All right, back on the login screen, I'm logged in. And from here, you can tap on go to library. So from here, I'm going to look for the game that I want to download. I'm going to tap on the search bar. I'll bring up the keyboard and I'll type in Prince. And you can see Prince of Persia. I've got two copies of it. One of them is the demo and the other one is the actual full release. So I'm going to click on that one. And then from here, I have the option to install the game. So tap on install. It's going to give you some information about how big the download is and where you want to download it, where you want to install it and things like that. I typically just leave it as it is and click on install. So then you just need to let it download the game. So I'm going to leave this to do its thing and I'm going to come back once the download is finished. Okay, the download is finished. Now, before we start getting into the game, there's a couple of things we can do to make the experience a little bit nicer. First, I want to make sure I add the game into my Steam library. So to do that, you can click on the three dots in the top right corner and then tap on add to Steam. Now that that's finished, we can actually get out of Heroic's game launcher. So tap on the Steam button and then tap on exit game. And once we're out of Heroic Games Launcher, we actually need to restart Steam before we can see our game show up in the library. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay, we're back. So now we just need to go and find the game that we added to our library. So to do that, tap on the Steam key, go to your library, and again, go back into your non-Steam Games tab and go ahead and find the game that was just added. So it was Prince of Persia, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna launch this game now and see how it goes. It's going to do some installations and some configurations. And you are going to see Ubisoft Connect uh, launcher show up and do a quick update. If you get update available, click on download update. This only happens only the first time you run. The game is not going to happen every time. You see it's installing redistribution. It's now preparing to launch the game. All right, and we're in. Okay, just gonna show you a little bit of gameplay before we end the video. There it is. You can see I'm getting solid 60 FPS. No frame drops at all. The game looks fantastic on the Steam Deck. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please click the like button as that helps me a lot. Also, if you're interested in more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I do plan on making more guides like this. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy the game and I will see you later.